All right, today uh, we're working on a um, Williams replay unit. Now, this was all sticking and gummed up. This is out of the hotline we're working on. The main problem here is that this this arm, it barely moves. Look at that. I can, that should, so that'll all be sticking on the shaft here, behind here. So we're going to pull that circlip off take it off, get rid of all the dried grease, take all these drive pawls off as well, here, very simple to do, take the escapement wheel out, so that means we've got to undo the, um, the replay wheel itself, and do a good job, these are quite easy to take out, it's just a matter of undoing the, the screws here, and here, and down the bottom as well, and then undoing the switch off the bracket. Now there's only a, a bracket, uh, a switch on a bracket. You take that switch and screws out, that one there, and just a couple of screws, and that comes off the back of that bracket here. Whoops, that one. So that makes it easy. Undo the screws that hold the coil stop brackets in on both those coils, and you get everything out in your hand. It just makes it so much easier to work on. These William steppers are a real dream to work on. They're so much easier than the than the Gottlieb ones, in my personal opinion. Um, but that's just my opinion. So we'll clean that now, and we'll get back and show you the results. Yeah. So down the hole there is all grease and gunk. It was quite difficult to get off that. It was really tight. Very hard to see. I guess the the shaft but it's got all gunk and everything on it so yeah we're gonna we're gonna soak these parts all of them in kerosene and then we'll reassemble and um yeah we'll have a replay unit as good as new so quite simple to do a williams replay unit and if anyone's ever got any questions about them we're happy to try and help you okay well i'll get on and do this now give me something to do for the next half hour or so and this has been another Goat Shed presentation.